watching the birds. Are you watching the birds in the water? It's so pretty. Hi, babe. Hey, babe. Thank you. So I got this wacky text from this old neighbor of mine in Westport. It says, I'm hoping you and the kids are well and will be happy, but I'm wondering if you are clearly seeing things. <laughs> what is that supposed to uh, mean? Exactly. Is this really what you want long term for you and your children? Like I'm getting a disease or something. Just think She's about it. She's talking about me? I, well, I don't know what else you'd be talking about. Just think about it. Again, I'm sorry for the intrusion. So she says, this is not my opinion, this is coming from what people are saying. If you want to talk, if you want to talk, we can. What? See, honey, this is what I mean about all this idle gossip and bullshit that's going on in your little town of Westport. It's like, they don't know, they don't know how involved, you know, I am with the kids. I just don't like the idea that someone out there is painting a picture of what we have together as something other than really beautiful and what it is. I just, I think of that thing, like, I know, those listen, fuckers the, are just jealous assholes. Well, the thing that made me curious is, what was the particular catalyst? Were there enough people that she was around that said something? Was it one particular person that she was around that said something? The thing is, I don't want to engage any further. I don't want to dig into the deep dish of this gossip pizza pie. There's a judgment that's being made on me that I have moved out of Westport and mm -hmm. now I'm straddling, you know, life in New York City. Mm -hmm. So they're like, well, how could you leave your kids and abandon them? No, no, excuse me. No one is saying that you abandoned your children because that is not right. We haven't left children. We see them constantly. They're with us all the time. We're here now. I mean, it's like, it's not right. People have no idea who I am and what I'm like for the children because I connect with them all very individually and very separately and I care about them. So fuck that fucking bitch. She doesn't know me. She doesn't know my life. She doesn't know you. You know what's interesting is that each of us could extract our own guilt from that. Like you read a bit and said, oh, it's about me. And I read it and I said, is she talking about me like spending all my time in New York? This is a wicked little town. It is. Filled it with l wicked, wicked little girls who are all grown up now and they have nothing better to do than run their mouth. I got a great story. So, I have a check I have to deposit, no up an account. How cool is that? Well, that's great. So who invested and in what? Believe it or not, our first investment is Heidi Brooklyn. Oh my God. Our daughter-in-law. You better not fuck it up. Better not. One second. Susan's getting screens for me because I get mosquito bites and she doesn't. So it's very romantic of her. That's really sweet. <laughs> anyway, I am getting divorced. If you remember that I never got divorced. So my wife is coming from Montreal. She's gonna sign, they notarize it, then I will effectively be divorced. Nine years, I've had a good marriage, nine years. Well, my question is, are you getting action for your divorce? I don't think so. Her boyfriend will be coming. Ah, uh -huh. that probably makes it a little uncomfortable. But okay, it should be uncomfortable for you because that's your wife you're talking about. I should tell him that, I don't right. appreciate it. What the hell's going on here? Yeah. Well, he's gonna have to pass the border and then he's to give an address. Well, any address will work. Well, he's gonna give you your place, I guess. Who are we talking about right now? I'm talking about Sia Ipe Okay. You mean your boyfriend? My boyfriend who's staying at my husband's house. <laughs> and the husband who's staying at the girlfriend's apartment. Exactly. <laughs> Susan, calling right now. Hello. Hi, Susan. 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 Hi, Susan.
Hello. Hi. We're trying to sign our divorce papers. Yes. I just need a date here and signature here. Okay. So today we are the 17th. Nine wonderful years after we walked down the aisle in Las Vegas, Nevada. And your dad walked me down the aisle. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> We're gonna reprint this really? page. I need to black ink. Okay. So okay. I'm gonna reprint this page. Oh, sorry. It's okay. She already fucked up our divorce. We use blue ink in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> what did you file? Like, why are we divorced? What did you tell them? She's no crazy. sex. No. <laughs> no. She refused sex for two years. They long. have that as grounds, you know. Like really? Abandonment, sexual Ab abandonment. Sexually abandoned. All right, so. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a divorce day today. Look how much fun it is. We're having a blast. It's the new Chanel. We love getting divorced. <laughs> we might get married again just to get divorced. Yeah, nice. Again. <laughs> All right. We've done it. Done. Oh, I miss you already. Go. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the results of my ultrasound. I'm so scared. What if I have cancer? Stop. No. No. Oh. no. Why do you have cysts in your boobs? What if I have to cut it off? <gasps> no. Yeah. Just give me a little one. Not I'll too share much. That no, no, you have to have things verde, which are good for everything. It's for, for my breasts. It's for your booby. Uh -huh. And for your baby, it's good for everything. Aww. Salud. Salud. Cheers. Here's to healthy boobs. Yeah. Healthy babies and boobs. I'm so hungry. Well, there we go. I fed your baby two days in a row. Am I the father? No. Am I the father? No. <laughs> she had her chance. <laughs> the queen is here. This is my sister's ex-boyfriend, and now I guess they got back together. This is a soap opera. So what did Abuela say to you guys yesterday? Call the cops on us. We're calling cops on us. <laughs> Why? Because we're violating a relationship. <gasps> what do you mean? She's like, back in her day, this shit never really happening. That she would just, uh, when she breaks up with somebody, no, she kicks them to the curb. Yeah. And then none of her granddaughters came out of here. No, when I break up with somebody, I break up with them. That's it. Like, okay, so, you came out so I'm like my grandmother. But you guys, with your makeup breakup, yeah. hysterical. Yeah. 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 Mom, you have white shoes like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Have fun in church. Pray for my booby. Adios. God is great. God is good. Let us thank Him for our food. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Oh, thank you, God, for everything. Amen. Hey! She's saying a, Are she's you saying crazy? a prayer. Are you crazy? I'm saying let, a prayer. Let her say no, grace I also. Gonna, I thought that ended. Put your fork down. Wait. I thought it was the end where you say no. Allah. You just say Amen. Anyway, stop eating. Huh? Pause. Put the food down. Amen. How was driver's ed? Awful. Why? Because driver's ed is awful. Who was doing your field driving stuff? Well, I mean, I had one yesterday, a driving lesson, but I had to cancel it because um, my day was too busy yesterday. So I have one on Wednesday night, but it's dad's night, so I don't know how I'm going to do it now. Honey, she has to do that. You gotta give her the night off. Fine, she won't be with me when she has that. I'll see you when she's done. Okay. Why are you being offended by it? She doesn't have enough field time in. She, she, it's not That's good. That's fine. It's just I can't balance all this stuff on my night. Excuse me? What? I don't think, listen, hold on. Slow your roll. All I'm saying is that you, I just feel like you're giving her a hard time and it's like, you know, she's gotta get her field time in. I'm not giving in. her a hard time. I'm just letting everybody know that I don't wanna do any more balancing of going back and forth with practices and games and then whatever. It's my night, we're having dinner, we're coming here, we're what doing homework. What kind of a town is that? It's your night and you have a responsibility to drive us, just like mom does. And it sucks that we live in Fairfield, but you have to do it. You can't just say that you won't drive us to and from sports I'm like that. Mom, no, I thought you, didn't you say uh, that you okay. didn't want to be you responsible wanted, for driving you, us to and from you said sports? You no, what here. daddy said was I a you night. Said that. I know, that's why I'm trying to translate. What daddy said was. I can't he translate it. Really? No, I'll, I'll, I'll no, no, talk. No, no, I want to say something. Carolyn, can you please talk to Dad about yeah, your problems? Yeah, please separately. Hey, okay. slow it down. What? Just okay. lock it up for a second. We're having a conversation. Yeah, but it's always about Carolyn. Well, what do you? All right, how about this? Can we talk about Carolyn for five minutes, and then you can bring up whatever it is is up your tushy tonight? 
I don't even think you have a, do you have a dog in this fight? Is something bothering you? No, it's just it's okay. just that we it's always talk like to Sarah. Like, why can't we talk about You're more? the one telling me that we shouldn't be yelling when you're like the biggest yeller in the family. When did I ever yell? Oh, let's mm. I want to go. You're not going anywhere, Stephen. I'm going upstairs. That was a fun. where are you going? Cool. I'm upstairs. No. First of all, that's not how you get up. You say, please may I be excused. You stop. No. You guys are yelling at each other. You know what, Stephen? No you're one. You're the one yelling, Stephen. Okay, you want to go have a conversation with him, do that. Okay. Oh my god. I'm trying to be a good stepmom, but I'm also trying to be real with all of them. When things get hard and things get rough, it means that people care. No one fights this hard for something they don't give a shit about. I certainly don't. And I'll fight to the nail for this family. It's early Wednesday morning, and I'm flying to Montreal to see my ex-wife. I'm going to Newark. I've been meaning to come visit her for a year. Right now, it seemed like a really good time. Emotionally, somehow, it just felt right. So I've been meaning to give you these for fucking ever. Susan got them for you for like two years ago. So here, <laughs> to add to your collection. <laughs> this is my best gnome yet. <laughs> How many is this? I've got at least 20 gnomes. <laughs> and that's not counting gnomes that are tattooed on my body. Is this your favorite one? This is my favorite one. <laughs> Larry, what do you think of the gnome? Look at his humongous dick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he does. Oh, right for the fucking, right for the penis. Let me lick that. And Renell, we met the same time Stephanie and I met. years ago. More yeah. Than One of the reasons that I'm here visiting Stephanie is I am just dying to open a surf bar in New York City that would have an indoor wave. And the first place just opened in Montreal. Oh, can um, I go? Yeah, I absolutely. Yeah, we should go. Terry, you look Let's really cool. <laughs> you guys look good together. You look like an Irish bomber. I am. You look kind of like a fucking gnome, by the way. <laughs> the I know. I know. Or she know. She I know. She know what she's doing. Good night. Bye, Munchkin. I love you. Bye. Don't have sexual relations with the dog. Because he loves the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in our relationship, a lot of our relationship, I was drunk <laughs> and, and I you were asleep. <laughs> Because remember when you, you went to a strip club and I went home and then you came home and puked everywhere? Yeah, and no. I remember. I got it. <laughs> He's like, don't talk about it. No. But I'm going to finish. And the fucking stripper from the strip club, where he proceeded to get really drunk, calls him. While I'm like helping clean up his pew. So he gave the number. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, yeah but, I, I gave him but, my number. <laughs> but I knew about That's that. That's ultra cool. I knew about all that. That was fun. Your boyfriend, Terry. Yeah. I really think he's great. He's the one, I think. Really? Yeah. I will never get married again, though. I really care about you, and I feel like you have a good relationship, so I'm wondering, like, you never really talked about it. Why did we break up? I always felt like, sexually, you wanted hookers. <laughs> and I felt That's like, weird. and I felt like you felt like I was, like, cute sister that you don't do nasty shit to. So you felt, I mean, I'm being totally fucking sincere. Okay, Jonathan, we live yeah. with me, you, and two other guys. There was just so much sex all the time. And I don't mean like there was like people having sex everywhere. I just mean it was always there. Sex is really something, I mean, I think about sex constantly. So it's definitely very... But I've always appreciated your honesty about it. Like you never, from the beginning, you always said that I don't believe that you should just have sex with one person. I was never misled to believe that we were going to be monogamous. I knew. I always but knew. With Susan, she wanted to be monogamous. 
essentially, but I'm more curious to just, to, 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 I don't know, like even with potential pain and hurt involved in doing yeah. that shit. It's... Well, when we broke up was because you had slept, well, you had slept with someone else and then I tried to do it and it just fell apart after that. Because yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like how it made me feel. And I didn't like how it made you feel either. I hated it. Like it was painful. My sister was freaking out and I totally hung up on her by mistake. She doesn't know if she wants to get back with her ex-boyfriend. What's happening? Oh, I don't know what I want. Like, I don't know. But why are you crying? I don't get it. You're so cute. I remember my first heartbreak too. It was crazy sad. I'm not heartbroken. I just don't know. I don't know why. I feel like such a bad person for not wanting to be with him anymore. You feel like a bad person for not wanting to be with him anymore? You want more from life and, and it's okay to want more from... Imagine me if I was going to stay the same. I felt bad too and I cried too, you know? And, and and look at me now. I'm okay, you know? And it, it was so hard. I promise you. It was so hard. And sometimes you, you're like afraid. I'm, you're going to be crying. <laughs> you're like afraid that you're making the wrong decision. But to stay somewhere where you weren't growing, that's even worse. <laughs> You always can choose. Every day is a new opportunity to choose different. You know that, right? Yeah. Breaking up is hard. It hurts. You do whatever you want, but don't do anything out of guilt or because you feel like you have to. Learn from my mistakes. You're amazing. <laughs> All right. Love you. I love you too. The day of my wedding, I cried the whole entire morning and I had no idea why. My mom's like, what do you need? I'm like, I need a shot of tequila. And my mom's like, no. My dad's like, no, oh, you're not gonna drink before you go to church. So all of a sudden my mom comes with water. She's like, just drink this. And I'm like, all right. So I drank it. I felt a little better. I continued with the day. Two weeks later, my sisters were chatting and all of a sudden I'm like, ah, can you believe I was crying so much? I don't know why I was crying so much. It was so strange. And then uh, my sister's like, yeah, thank God mommy gave you that sedative. Excuse me? Yeah, mommy gave you the sedative. The sedative? I was drugged the day of my wedding. The way I was raised was very religious and Catholic and instead of being there, my parents were like, oh, well, this is the husband you chose, so fix it. Like, even if you wanted to get out of that marriage because you know it wasn't correct or right for you, I just stayed like, for other people, not for myself, you know. I just want my sister not to make the same mistakes as I did. <laughs> Why would I be nervous? Because we're going to have our first group. I've had coffee function. with Amy before. That was not the same thing, and that was a disaster. I wouldn't, it wasn't a disaster. I. It uh, wasn't a disaster. Okay, tell me, tell me, did you accomplish, did you set out to accomplish your goals? I feel did like I, I stayed, I stayed my ground. And so did she. I don't think we're going to have a big family brouhaha. First of all, there's not going to be any brews or ha-has in front of the children between us. No. You know, between Amy and you and I. No. I think that, and I'm, by the way, it's going to be an easy night for me because if any of the kids act up, both of their parents are there. I got nothing to say. Happy birthday to you. Hey, Jeannie, it's a beautiful cake. Did you cake. bring yoga breath? Inhale. Jeannie, wait, 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 I got to make a wish first. You got to make a wish. Then, Mom, we will find a wonderful man. Okay, ready? Okay. 
Hey, hold on. Amy, what did you say that mommy will what? She's like the wonderful man. Oh, she's dating a guy. Mommy's 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 dating a guy. I don't think How so. How many guys is your mom He's dating? He's a golfer. How many guys is your mom dating? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stunned, actually, at how well it went. Because the kids got to see all of us together. And Amy embraced all of us being together. I mean, this whole night was really predicated on Amy being okay. As much as I want us to all be a family, without her buy-in, we just aren't. So, tonight meant a lot to me. I kind of can't believe it. Honey, I'm stunned. I'm like, I'm stunned. You getting pulled in? I'm not getting pulled in. Listen, I've witnessed a lot of things, and I don't think it's nice for you to say that on tonight. She was very gracious. So, for don't tell me about being sucked honey, in and pulled honey, in and charmed or whatever. Honey, just can I just put, give credit this, where credit's due. You can say one thing. anything you want. But if you, if you don't, but don't disparage. This is what I've wanted since I met the kids. I just wanted all of us together to be a family, and maybe I don't in the future. Be the voice of doom and I, and so I then, like just don't be. Just let no, it. Can't we just da, enjoy da, the night for what tonight is? No, I'm not gonna say anything. Just, just yet. I'm thinking something, but I'm not gonna say anything. No, don't. Okay. Just let it live, please. I'm not talking about tomorrow. Just let tonight be nice. The last 10 years of my life, I've had three serious relationships, and I want to say that it's sex, if I'm going to be really honest, at the root, that is the problem. I just don't like the thought of rules in a relationship, and particularly regarding sex. I don't know how to... Uh, compartmentalize my sexuality in terms of like, what's appropriate and what's not. I'm thinking about Susan and I feel nauseous. I have a dollar you can give them. Called bike polo? Yes. That's really dangerous. Would you like to play? No. <laughs> oh. That girl is definitely the MVP. Not necessarily because of her ability, but she's the most noticeable. A lot of the compromises that I think I made for my relationship with Susan were being monogamous. If I'm gonna be monogamous, I feel like I just am making such a huge compromise for who, what I would naturally want to do. Religion is silly, and so are relationship rules. Thanks for watching Connected. Make sure you subscribe to AOL Originals for all new episodes and exclusive behind the scenes footage.